previously on Family Business. It's really, if you lose, you go home. Hey, come on! Oh, goodness. I don't know if I'm coaching the Cole Hearts or the Reapers. It's the end of our season from Moravian. We're heading into Prep Nationals. Our record is like 28 and 4. You know, we've accomplished a lot. We beat a lot of, a lot of really good teams. Went all over the country, so you know we just got to finish it out. Me personally, I think I've grown a lot in the sense of filling a bigger role than I was in last year. Were you worried about trying to be the leader this year, like with Eli leaving? Yeah, definitely. Just it really wasn't even like a worry. It was just like not really knowing what was how the year was gonna play out. Just me having to fulfill a bigger role than I did last year. A lot of people don't realize how much energy it takes to lead and play. It took a lot just knowing like. Even if you're having a bad scoring day, you can't hit a shot. Just knowing you have to bring energy, you gotta be a leader to the team. You know, just feeling a bigger role than I was in last year, and being one of the best players, uh, just being more comfortable with the ball. What game was like, oh, I'm really that dude, so I could do this? At the beginning of the year, probably the Huntington Prep game where I had 35. The moments that stand out for me this season were definitely the whole Outer Banks trip. We outside with it, with the Outer Banks. Outer Banks. That was a lot of fun for me. Bella yeah, Bella Vista, the Bella Vista game. That was, that was top tier. Uh, because Dylan hit a game winner, that was a really big win for us. Now we just gotta close out the season. I do think we can win the championship. We're gonna have to play the best basketball we've played all year. Going into Rock Hill for the national championship, I was super excited. Now we were about to play the best teams in the state and the country. It's definitely a big test. They just play really hard, I mean, they play fast, they're super athletic, super scrappy, so it's going to be a tough game for us. It's really important to win this just because if you lose, you're done for the rest of the season. Do not get dumped by the house. We have to rebound. All guards have to rebound. Everybody on the court has to rebound. So just go do what you do. Do what you've done all year. Play like Chalet, bro. Play, make it special. Stay together, too. Yes, all right, yes, let's get it. They really can't beat us, bro. Let's go. Brave right, round three, five, nine, six. One, two, three. Brave. Four, five, six. Brave. Brave. Ball tips off and Dylan immediately gets a layup. But they respond quickly with the floater. Jordan, pass it! Hey, kick it! Hey, you got three people! I missed a couple layups that I should have made. I don't know how. It's getting intense in here, the body's flying, I'm ending up on the floor. I've always been one of the smallest players on the court, so you have to play hard. You know, diving for loose balls, taking charges, stuff like that. Those are just essential things you have to do as a small guard. That's one of my favorite things to do on the court, especially when you're not scoring. I can't get too down on myself. You know, I just gotta do the little things to get the win. My shots aren't really falling, but I'm doing other stuff to help the team. Another cross-court dime, Jordan hits the three. We good, we bound it! Yeah, Isaac! Yeah, Isaac! Hit it, Jordan! Jordan and Graham, back-to-back -back threes from opposite sides. The seniors, they're doing their thing. They solid, they can't guard. We can guard them, they can't guard us. Remember that. We're going back and forth, we're scoring, they're scoring. You know, we just got to get a stop on defense. We close out the half with two threes. We're up 38-21. You know, we're feeling pretty good. We good, we good, we good. The competition level is obviously there. You know, they're a really good team. We were scoring really well, but we couldn't get a stop on defense. Hey, we're good. Hey, we're playing, hey, we're playing our ass off now. All right, now it's just stay together. Thank you. Again, make them take bad shots. We take good shots. Blow their ass out. Worry. Let's go. Let's finish this thing. Let's go. Let's finish this thing. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I wasn't really scoring that much. I don't really know why. To be honest, it was really just one of those games. And Jordan and Graham were definitely carrying. You know, they were the main ones scoring a hit shot. We're up 20 with eight minutes left. We just got to finish the game because this is one of those teams, you know, if they get going, they're really hard to stop. Steve. We put our foot on the gas and we end up closing out the game. Tomorrow is going to be a way, way better team, so we got we to gotta come locked in. After the game, my dad was talking about how proud he was of us and our team. That's what it's about, man. We controlled the whole game. They made a little run, and we took that shot. But what really matters when it comes to this? Who's the smarter player? Coaches don't score at all, do they? Who's the smarter players? But one of y'all gonna have to step up tomorrow. So you better get your mind right around that. It's gonna be a chess match, but hey, just trust, trust the process. We'll be fine. That's all you got to do. Let's play smart. Let's go out throwing haymakers. We'll trust that. It was a really good win, but now we got to kind of lock in for tomorrow. Us versus Winston Elm Christian, both teams know each other really well, both coaches know each other really well, so it's going to be a crazy matchup. Ready about three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Ready. Four, five, six. People definitely respect me and Bryson, you know, Bryson being the top five player in the country. And then me, we're just proving myself the whole second semester, so. Yeah, I got a second all team at OT. And I got most improved player. <laughs> He's dumb. Me and Bryson about to hop on the game and just talk about how yesterday's game went against the Hearts. It's like my best friend OT. All right, you ready to get this win? All right, bet. We're at semifinals right now. Since we were first in the league, we got a bye. So we're in the second round playing against Cold Hearts. We won our first game Tuesday. City Reapers 104, Cold Hearts 97. Game went good, you know. Everybody played really well, I feel like. Everybody had a double digits, like six, seven players had double digits. So it was a really solid game for everybody. Played hard, we fought, fought to the end, and you know, just looking forward to put it away tomorrow. Who knows what'll happen, but we have a plan and if you know, we execute it, it should be good. Good observation there. Me and Bryson were both the youngest players here at OT. Being the youngest player is a really good thing, and you can learn from people that are older than you, and then sometimes people look over you. If we win Friday, uh, we win the series, and we move on to the championship, the finals, and play the winner of Word of God and the Dreamers. We both accomplished our goals for the year. You know, we're both in the playoffs with our seasons on the line. Well, Ella's on the spin. Second game, hopefully, I think it'll go pretty well. I feel like we're gonna pull out the win again, and. Uh, you know, move on to the finals. We gotta eliminate. I don't understand this. Fans, once again, welcome inside of OT Arena. It's time for game two of the semifinals with the number one seeded City Reapers taking on the number four seeded cohort. I walked in the arena for game two, it was hype. A lot of people came out to watch it. You know, it's, it's a crazy environment. There's nothing like it. What I'm gonna do to help my team win, just keep doing the little things, uh, knocking down shots when I can, when I get the ball, and being the solid player that I am. Cold Hearts definitely have a lot of pressure on them. They lose this game, they go home. So it could get very interesting. We are in for a great game. Here we go. Tyler Smith. Immediately as the game starts, you can tell both teams came to play. Go corner, Bryce. And you know, I'm doing my thing too, and I hit somebody with a no-look pass. Oh! What a pass from Eli Ellis. Sopto, he can jump out the roof, has a 40-inch vertical at 6'10". He's strong. Their whole team's kind of contributing right now. Janet Walker. Yeah. 
and they jump out to an early lead. Hey, in the zone, real quick, in the zone, on any pass, pass and cut run. through, this is bump the guy right there. Hey, hey, defensively, they're in the paint too much. They're in the paint too much. Right now, this is not our team. We're playing not like them. Defensively. We're playing like them. Yeah, we're going to give them 50 goddamn points. Second quarter, I caught the ball in the corner, shot fake, something went flying by, hit a little mid-range. He about kicked me in the face though. That was crazy. He went like this. There we go, Trey! Look out below! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, came down hard. This is the first two free throws, though. That was a close game, but we still were feeling confident going into that second half. Oh, man. And the Tyler Smith pull-up to cap it off. 47-45, City Reapers. Bad news is we have not played anywhere near our capability on defense. Am I right? All right? The ball is living in the paint. So now, kick out, man, open shots, finishes, I, all the stuff that we talked about. And you attack them. You attack them. You attack them. Let's be who we are. Let's, let's be go, who man. we are. Let's finish on three. Finish on three. One, two, three. A man with a finish of four. They're hanging close the first half, but second half is when we started to assert our dominance. Eli, that's his spot. Can't leave that man open. And then I knocked down a three with eight minutes to go in the uh, third quarter, so I'm really feeling it. You know, then I hit another three, and now I'm kind of catching on fire. Be smart on offense, take good shots. When it out, drive the ball and lift it, all right? We've got 12 or five minutes to play in the third, and we're just running with it. And now I'm just starting to contribute a lot more scoring-wise than the past few games. Feels good. Oh, Eli Ellis! We go on an 11-1 run with four minutes to go in the fourth. We start running away with it. Take a deep breath. We got three and a half to go. Need all the energy we can muster right now, all right? Then I hit a dagger, shot a one leg floater over two defenders. Eli with a floater. That's a dagger. In a number one seed, you can't really be surprised if they're making it to the championship. I'm just excited to see who they're going to be going up against. Now we get the win and we advance to the finals. We proved that the Code Hearts can't stand with us. You know, we beat them five times, they beat us zero. I play with the Thompson Twins and they kind of carry the load, but it shows that I can make an impact on this team. We're playing the Dreamers, who are going to be a way tougher opponent than the Cold Hearts. Now I just got to be the youngest to win a chip at OTE. On the next episode of Family Business. Me and Isaac were just trying to stay loose, keep the competition going. So my dad came up to us and was like, y'all should play one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, step up, man. You're going to catch some hands, you keep talking crazy. We're in the Big Shots Nationals for our Moravian season. We're playing with Salem Christian. That's definitely playoffs. That's championship basketball. We're about to go into the finals. We're playing against the Dreamers, who have loaded a lot of talent. But we have some rivalries on this team, so it's going to be real heated. Are you kidding me? Overtime Fits keeps blessing me with all these fits, and you can cop them all, too. Head over to the OT shop and peep some of these new drops. All you got to do is click the link below.